All right, welcome back art students. So today I want to have a little fun by showing you guys something that you may have realized, you may have not realized, that you can take one position and make multiple positions from that. So if you're one of those people that, that like to draw positions or try to come up with new positions, it's very simple once you get, let me get one piece of sheet of paper because all the rest are just in the way. Once you get that torso right, or you get the, the, the upper half of the body right, then the rest is just is simple. The, the, the arms and legs are just icing on the cake. How much icing do you want to put on top of that cake? So going from a straight up and down position, and one thing a lot of people should really start getting away from doing the stagnant straight up and down. And I know when you first learn to draw, this is the, you know, the thing that you, you, know, you want to draw because you want to do your whole, you want to do your whole character you know, standing there so people can, you know, see it or, yeah, you you can show it off. You show off the costume and the weapons and whatever else. And why am I spitting? But, you know, we need to get away from that. And you once you get the basics down, just start start twisting and bending that, that character as best you can or that position as best you can. This is really quick. and start making some action poses. And when you draw, I know one leg is shorter than the other. When you draw, don't always try to make something perfect. Draw for fun sometimes, just just draw for fun. Okay, so that's your the, the, the straight stagnant type of position that I'm saying we always draw. We draw part of the arm and it's, it's always straight. Start bending and twisting that. But this one, we're gonna get this, we're going to, to do this. If you can get this part right, the rest is just, as I said, it's a piece of cake. So you already know there are three pieces to that. The, the upper part, torso, the hips, and the waist. No, the waist and the hips. I, I don't know why I can't get those right. I'm going to write it down and put it on my, my board in front of me. So I will never forget. So if you get those three right, then the rest, as I say, is simple. So let's just say I'm going to stack these and bend them over. So let's say I want to do something like this. And remember, I don't have my piece. I talked about it in the last video. When you bend this over, it's going to kind of do a shape like this, like an oval cup. So you want to remember that. So it depends on how much you twist or bend this thing over. So I'm going to do this and give a little bit right here. Then I'm going to put this under here. And then I'm going to put that, of course, under there. And I'm going to maybe twist it a little bit. So I'm going to have that center line come and go right down there. You have to have that center line because it's really important from the bottom part so you'll know where that hip is, that point where that hip is. So we have that. We have this. And let's just say I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my head about right here. One, two, I should have did that in blue, and three. Now, if I go back to this, which I'll do this in a second, well, if you get this right, you're good to go. So let's put this collarbone here and then bring that shoulder down a little bit more. Let's come to a point, and then you have your delts right here. So if I do this and I do something like this. Uh, let's keep that. Let's just let's just do this blue. So let's just say I have this guy. Uh, I want to do something like this. By just changing those legs, now I've given him a more powerful stance. You know, more of a hero stance by bringing those arms out a little bit more. This is pretty good. Let's just do this. Let's say I'll bring his leg, his arms in. And I have some markers that would be perfect for this, or other colored markers if they're not dry because I don't use them. You have another position. So if I, let's say I'll put these legs together. <clears throat> let's use a pen for that. So if I bring these legs together straight down, yeah, let's 
let's just say I put the feet out, not, not being flat. And I put the arms up. I'm just going to go up like that. The arms are going to go off. I can have a flying position. I can angle the arms any which way. But if you notice, the only thing I've changed were the arms and the legs. The torso never moved. So as I said, once you get this torso down right and you learn how to twist it and stack the pieces to get it leaning, twisting, whatever, the arms and legs are just a piece of cake, icing on the cake. So like this particular one here, uh, I'm looking for my markers for the, for the, for the, for the meantime, I'm just going to go just, uh, can I speak English? I'm just going to do this. Okay. So there's one, one arm, put the other arm back, put this one up and you play around with your arms and legs. That's basically is balance. That's all it is. It's just balance. So a little bit in this leg and maybe I'll have part of the calf and the other foot. And then I can have this leg right here up more. And I'm just, I'm just kind of like coming up with it as I go. And I can put this foot back here like he's running. I can also, let's do blue. I don't know. I don't know. I can put this leg up here. And you don't have to change everything every time. <clears throat> eating corn chips, so a little dry throat. You can change just one, one piece at a time. I don't think I can erase that. And then you have another position. And notice I'm not touching the torso. Your arms and your legs are balanced. And it also depends on, you know, whatever pose like if he's jumping through glass or if he's going to dive off of a diving board or whatever then that 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 determines how you want to put your hands um since this one is forward let's do this let's let's say this is his fists like that change the position the other one can be you have your shoulder and you just have your, your hand like that. Now he could be jumping through glass or something, busting through a wall, busting through a door. And it's just changing. Oh, this might be a 10 minute video. It's just changing the arms and the legs. Once you get that, uh, the, the, the top half, let's just call it the top half. Once you get the top half down. So if you see a picture of something that you, you want or you like, if you master that top half, you can just change that and make that picture your own. Let me get another piece of paper and do one more. But the, the lesson is basically sound. It doesn't take much to do the position. So, I don't know. We're going to, oh, <clears throat> let's do. And whenever I do something and I'm, I'm leaning over or leaning over, I'll do this. And then maybe something like that. That's going to represent. I know it's, it's a little light. Let me darken this. Where is that pencil sharpener? It's right here. You think about this. Think about this shape here. Because when you turn the body, it's not round. It's not like round like a, like a, a pipe or a pole or something. It's oval. I want to say elongated, but it's oval like that. So I'm doing this. And then I'm going to get, which way did I have that guy turn? Let's turn him this way. Turn him this way. And usually you kind of put a little, little twist to it just to give it a little more action. Then I'll have my tuna can, which is the waist. And then, of course, this is the most important part. This is the roof of your house. You know it's going to connect right here and right here. Now, spitting again. I don't know why. So because this guy is leaning back, let's, let's just say from what I see, usually when I draw a body, if I'm coming up with something on my own, I'll automatically see how I want the head to go. So this head is going to go right here. Well, it's, it's the V right there at the, at the provided this is the collarbone. The V is right there. The neck is right there. And then head is going to be looking this way. I 
course you have this, you have that, you put your, your delt here, you put your delt here, cutting into the chest. Here's my chest. Well, okay, this is my waist. This is my this is my mountain or where the abs gonna go. Curl, cr cut across here, not straight because this is still round. And then this is gonna go here. So my chest is gonna turn here. This is gonna be the other side of the chest. And I can always go back and make this a little deeper or a little bigger or, or whatever, whatever I need. But since this is a quick sketch, so because this is tilted this way, let's just say I'll do, let's use a pencil. If you can see a pencil, let's get a darker pencil. I want to be able to erase. Because he's leaning that way, he could be doing a million things. He could be have that one leg straight. He could have this other leg just bent up. So whenever you lift your leg or, or, or arm or whatever, it's going to be like this. The more you lift it, the less bottom you're going to see and the more opening you're gonna see. So if this person's leg was lifted, if this was a leg, this is part of a leg, and it was lifted straight to you, you won't see any of the sides. If it, if it was twisted over a little bit, you'd see that side. If it was twisted over more, you'd see more side. Same thing, if you lifted it up, if it was like doing a front kick, you're gonna see the bottom. If you have them bent like down, like on the last picture, <laughs> down kind of like this, this is going to be the bottom and this is going to be the top like that arms and legs are simple it's just it's just um cylinders we look at these videos and we look at these books and we try to draw the muscle first get these proportions and shapes down before you do that and then once you get this straight the rest is a breeze okay so we have that and then i'm going to put his knee right here so we're going to see the side of his leg on the inner inner part of his leg and then that's going to be the other leg and he could be you know jumping out of the way of something or he could be let's see I put one hand right here another hand right there he could be shooting something jumping out of the way to shoot something like that it could, it could be a run you know it could lean I don't say leaning or falling but you know, that could be into the next move where he jumped through the window. So, if you notice, I didn't put any muscle or anything like that there, but I, I kind of got the shape, like this is going to be more of a triangle, triangle shape. This, again, once you, once you put stuff back in perspective, you're just going to have, it's just going to be round. It's just going to be round. I know that didn't come out to be a good explanation, but let's, let's, Let's get rid of the pencils since it'll be easier to erase. And then just do a couple more just because. Short video. It's only th it's over, over, already 13 minutes. And I guess the 10 minute video is out, Brian. Yes, it is. Okay, so we had that with my red. Let me re red this guy. Re redden this guy. Not you don't even need the um your delts because you might have the arms up in the air so you have to replace the delts so we have this little twist right here remember this the stomach is going to follow this the same twist it's going to go down just in case you're wondering like that and then you have your your love handles here and what's left is over here this is your hips right here and then this is your um bone not collarbone your whatever that thing is rib cage rib cage and then your delt all right so um he's still leaning he's still looking that way let's let's change the head just to give it i still that balance is perfect for the head to be looking that way so let's see let's go forward let's just put the head forward he's looking forward at you for some reason um and see, this is the hard part for me, just, just coming up with, with um, just coming up with positions. I have to be in story mode to actually just like, okay, he's running or he's on fire or he's this, and then I'll, the position's right in my head. But when I just come to think of, when I come to think of, try to think of it just out of the blue, it's kind of hard. So he's going to be running, which means he might not be just looking at you. Um... 
I don't know. Let's just say he was playing football, and how would that hand go? That hand is going to go across him again. I don't want that hand to go across him again. He's running, and this is going to take up a couple minutes, but you already understand what I'm saying. You should be able to see. Let's just let's just see what I got. Let's just see what I got. Put a little bit of the arm right here. This is the delt right here. This is the bicep, and as you just join half a cylinder. If I was doing the cylinder right here, the cylinder would be right here. This is the back of the cylinder right there. It's just like that. If you couldn't see that, which my glasses are really dirty, it's just this. But the delt is in front of it right here. So this is all you're going to see of the bicep, and then you connect the rest of the arm there. So like this, and I'm going to do, I don't know, this could be a weird position. Maybe a fist. And then I will do the same thing. I might make him look, might make him look forward because he could be running into uh, a battle. Here's my delt. Here's my bicep. Here's my uh, forearm, which is the same thing. You're just going to cut it off. And here's my fist right here. So this is just a cylinder again. It's a cylinder, but then I, I, I shortened it to about right there. And then, of course, like I say, you want to make that, give that more of a triangle effect. And then his uh, hand is going to be like right here. So like that. All right. So now he's like running into battle. And again, you notice the um, torso didn't change. Uh, yeah, I could have changed it to catch a football. Football could be up here, but I, how would the hands go? I don't know at this particular point. I can't see how those hands would go. So I'm just going to do this. What is the hard part of making a video? For me, it's the thumbnail. It's like, what is the best thumbnail to do to show what I'm doing or to make you see, oh, this is interesting. Thumbnail. So he's like this, this is his face, this is his mouth, like, ah, oh, coming to get you. But, you know, hey, I would have put this leg back a little bit more to give it more action. But, as I'm saying, let me take this into 20 minutes. I'll eat this. All you have to do is know to stack those three shapes, stack these three shapes, twist these three shapes, and then figure out <clears throat> what you want to do with your arms and legs according to how you tilted these three shapes that are stacked together. So... This is going to be a quick one, and as I stated before, if you turn, if this is the front, and you turn, and you have your back dealt, just make that like one piece. Just make that one piece that connects like that, and then this one, you would have to do the kind of the whole thing, because you're facing that one. Quick uh, ink, quick ink. Remember, this is going this way and down. Did I just change my line? No, I did not. And the body can only twist so much, so you, you're going to have to like take an account of that whenever you draw. You know, unless you Todd McFarlane drawing Spider-Man who can twist any which way he wanna. Bicep, okay, the collarbone is going to come out of here. You're going to have that, your traps, which just go up your neck. Your neck, you have these two muscles that go from your ear or behind the ear. And some Goku action. 
Yeah, I know that's not Goku hair, but you know what I'm saying. And then from there, you're going to have your ribs here. The second set goes there. Shadow there. And I can keep playing around with it until I can go into like 30, 40 minutes. And then you have your special effects. And then you have your motion lines. He's running. And then you have yourself a nice little picture. But as stated, all it takes is getting that the torso the hips and the waist together the way you want start looking at some other people's drawings and then just draw those three things don't worry about the arms don't worry about the muscle get the shapes of those three pieces put them together and then and you can add the arms the way they added it and then just erase it and add something else to change it into something else this is how you make stuff into your own position your own style and start twisting your bodies you know instead of just drawing the, the static straight up and down i mean you should have that by now for a lot of people i, I look at you see your, your your facebook pages and you're doing that just draw for fun draw you know nobody cares like kind of you know i'm just going to draw this thing and see how it comes out and that's the only way you know where your weakness is is when you do something and say oh that's not right and then you know okay that's a weakness so you can draw something like that and then add the torso, the waist, the hips to that, and then kind of make that a little better. It's in the line. So yeah, and this is kind of like how I started out. I knew I couldn't do certain things, so I just, for fun, just, just for fun. And um, I, learned, I learned more. So okay, that's going to be it for this. Um, go out there and then draw and then just, you know, keep drawing, keep drawing, keep drawing. If that's your goal, if that's that fire that's burning inside you, keep drawing and, uh, you will get there. Promise you that. All right. That's going to be it. I'll see you guys in the next video.